Um, okay, so designing to a brief, having some strict rules to stick to, I'm going to do a quick, as in 23 minutes, swish through some applications just to show how these can be used across the different applications. And I admit, I'm having an awful lot of fun doing this because it's so easy and there's such a lot of consistency. Firstly, here in Photoshop, <coughs> you use Bridge and open some files. In fact, my apologies, but the thing that takes the longest is actually finding the files here. But let's use Bridge, which makes it as quick as possible can be, to go into f -f -f Photoshop and open a document. And that one. You saw this this morning. Well, I'm going to continue to muck about with this. Any of you who've used Photoshop and are now familiar with the workflow of do this, do this, do this, do this, and there's a classic that way of working with things, a lot of that has become a great deal easier thanks to some of these uh, adjustments tools. Now here I am in the Essentials workspace, and there's a whole lot of other workspaces in addition, uh, but the Essentials tools include this adjustments panel. And what I'm going to do is choose that button which says Levels. Now, create levels. And Maxim made the point about non-destructive editing. Absolutely the way to go, that your original artwork remains unsullied untouched. You don't break it and throw away pixels, you just put layers on top. That's going to happen without me having to worry about creating the layers. It's going to non-destructively edit this image. So I'm clicking onto the Layers button. No, I didn't. I clicked onto the uh, Curves button there. That's the <coughs> Curves. And you'll recognize there the curves, nice straight line curve. And all I do next is choose to edit upon the image itself. This little button I'm going to click there. And now, if I drag on the screen, which I'm no, now doing, watch as I drag, that is actually adjusting the curves. Less down, or perhaps up. I'm creating curves. What you would have traditionally done the long way with lots of panels and things, but right there within the image. I want to see a bit more of the woodwork out of those stairs, so that's, I think, a little brighter. I can begin to bring the stairs out there. Uh, so let's have a look at the layers panel. And you'll notice this new layer here um, was created just then. I'm going to throw it away. Uh, yep, yeah, that. And return to the adjustments. Oh, thought I threw that away just then. So let's throw it away there. Okay, back to the adjustments. And this time I'm going to go for the levels. This button's taking me to levels. And you'll see that there I could muck about with the levels like you're familiar with, I'm sure. But there's some presets here, so I might choose to increase contrast or maybe down here, lighter. And it immediately applies that. Of course, I can then go on and apply my professional skills to make that uh, more appealing, but it gives me a starting point. And again, non-destructively, the layers, there's my new layer that's been generated automatically for me, an adjustment layer. If I hide that adjustment layer, the original artwork is there, untouched, non-destructive editing.